This is the Prime Sports Horse Report on Prime Sports Network. I'm Greg DePama. He's John Hardoon from the Ragas and Sheets at thesheets.com. John, how's it going this week? Good, Greg. How are you? Doing good. And uh, we uh, continue to kick butt here on this show. We've now uh, hit on seven of the last ten uh, races. I think that's, a, I guess it's a span of five shows, if my math is right. Yes. So, uh, yeah, two for two last week. Uh, you almost, uh, the good thing is, is when we don't take the same horses, that enables us an opportunity for one of us to win. And that's exactly what happened, I believe, when we, uh, when we take a look at what happened in the Bing Crosby. Uh, yeah. That was, that, that pace in that race just uh, destroyed almost half the field. Yeah, the race didn't even come up as a fast number. I believe uh, the winner, Collusion Illusion, uh, ran a nine. So we were expecting a lot better, that's for sure. And congratulations to you. You carried the ball last week. The horse I like best that ran in New York uh, ran second. And uh, you uh, certainly did well at the uh, Del Mar race, no question about it. Yeah, the Bing Crosby, uh, that was the Del Mar race, so it uh, went off. It was a 9-5 to five shot. Let's see, when we start, when we did the show last week, he was 9-2. to two. So the odds went down. That was the only bummer at 580 to win. Uh, the uh, Xacta uh, paid off at uh, $42 with the 8-1 to one, uh, long, with the eight to one shot. Le- uh, Lexitonian, who really also benefited from the pace, came out of nowhere, and I was a little nervous there at the end uh, as, uh, as hey. my horse barely oh. held on. He missed by a nose. He ran well. Trainer would have won two graded one stakes. Um, Vexatious beat um, the horse in New York, the big favorite, uh, the Phil, the mayor. I forget what her name is. Anyway, you talking about the trainer, Sisterson? Yeah, Sisterson beat um, – what the heck? I'm drawing a blank. Anyway, uh, the big one-to-five favorite. He won that race by a nose, and then he would have come back and won uh, Bing Crosby by a nose. He would have won two graded stakes coast to coast. Wow. Okay. Well, and it was, Saturday was the first time he won a graded stakes. And he really? Won, yeah. And he almost won two. Yeah. That's awesome. Is he young? Great story. Yeah. He used to work for trainer Doug O'Neill. Now he's out on his own, and he's doing pretty well. Okay. A name, a name to keep an eye on. That's Sisterson, right? Sisterson. Yeah, sure. Okay. Meanwhile, to H. Allen Jerkins, that was the race at Saratoga. And that was uh, won by Echo Town. I didn't like that. I was watching the race. I don't know which angle you had. I'm watching, the angle on the race was terrible. They were like showing it like if I was actually standing on the track, looking straight at the horses coming down. Yeah, the. You could tell who's where. I know. It was it, crazy. It was the pan shot, I don't know. So, uh, but Echo Town uh, got the job done there. Uh, Echo Town was a nine to two shot when we did the show, and his odds went up to seven to one. Mm-hmm. And uh, oh. tap it to win the horse that we both liked. Actually, the, that was the eleven horse. We both had him to win, but he finished in second. Uh, but mm-hmm. I went with the exact of four eleven that paid eighty one fifty. And uh, my third horse was that shoplifted at eighteen to one. So if I would have played a trifecta. That paid one hundred and sixty-seven fifty for a fifty-cent trifecta. Is that does that mean like a does that mean like a box? Is that how you do it with trifectas? Yeah, you can play them straight if you want. For, but yeah, you, so you can go box. as low as fifty cents on a trifecta. Yeah, that's three dollars. That bet will cost you to make a three-horse box for fifty cents. Three dollars. So three dollars is the least amount you could bet on a trifecta. No, you could bet fifty cents. Oh, on you it. can. Okay. Yeah. Pretty you crazy. Every okay. combination covered for the three horses you're putting in. That's called a box. Got it. Okay. So uh, not bad for a fifty cent try at one sixty seven fifty. Oh, it would have cost you three bucks. You'd have got one seventy six. Nothing wrong with that. All right. So that was last week. Now let's see if uh, we can keep the streak alive tomorrow. We'll be talking about two Saratoga races. It's a big day. It's Travers Day. So obviously we'll be doing the Travers Stakes. Right now, the favorite in the race is Tis the Law. Not only is he the favorite, and will probably go off at some crazy number, he's also he's also first in the Kentucky Derby uh, points race. On Monday, right. August the 10th, you can get those So, uh, what's that? You got a race going on in the background? Uh, I forgot to turn it off. <laughs> that's okay. Second choice is Uncle Chuck. He's a five-to-two shot. So that's, yeah, that's the Bob Baffert horse, two-for-two. Two. Who's that, Uncle, Uncle Chuck? Okay, two for two, yeah. 
Uh, both uh, very impressive in both of his starts. However, one of them was a four horse field at Los Sal, and you know the other one I guess was at Santa Anita. But now he gets to face uh, some tougher competition, no question about it. Yeah, this is one of those races that we normally would probably pass on because tis the law. It's going to be hard to beat tis the law, but we'll see. Uh, meanwhile, the two races that we're going to decide upon are going to be races seven and eight. That is the grade one ballerina. That's race seven or the race eight, which is a turf race. That's the Troy stakes. So we'll have a decision to make there. I think the difference is, is that the ballerina just has better horses. So the, the question is just going to be, you know, which is the better wagering the race? Good betting races, to be honest with you, because, well, I'll give you a little uh, preview. I don't like the favorites in the uh, ballerina. Oh, that's good then. Beat the favorites there. Yeah. So the five to two shot. Yeah, I was actually looking at that too. I'm going, wait a second. How is Serengeti Empress five to two when in his last two races he's he's got fifteens? Yeah. And then look at Bellafina. She only runs well in California. That uh Simon Callahan cannot ship that horse. He shipped her to Kentucky for the Breeders' Cup. She ran terrible. He shipped her a, a few times out of state. And uh, all her good races, for some reason, are in Southern California. She doesn't take her track with her. So. Okay, cool. And the other uh, favorite is the three-to-one shot, Come Dancing, uh, who doesn't – it was not all that impressed. It went at two last year. Uh, but anyway, look. It's- okay, but, um, I mean, you know, you, that, that's the third of the three favorites, and that's yeah. – he's the longest of the three favorites. So. And then the other race, again, uh, is the Troy Stakes – uh, where you have uh, eight to f- have an eight to five shot who hasn't raced since last November, and then uh, Shecky's sh- probably will be playing against. By the way, so either one of those races is good enough to play. Yeah, yeah we'll decide tomorrow. All right. All right, sounds good, John. Appreciate it. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Seven o'clock sharp because I have a seven thirty engagement. Shop seven shop. Take care. Shop.